I think at some stage we just were ended up naked. It was daytime, but there was nobody there. few times, a few times, and one time was a very nice lady, and we had a cut, you know, it was like started off just friendship and, and uh, you know, just common interests and things like that, and just a nice person, and there was potential for it to go somewhere, and I was actually even thinking, you know, but then I was like, if I do this, then how can I ever prevent my career from doing it? Sets a really bad example. Even though it seemed like it wouldn't be so bad, the principal charter, best friend of the principal or primary charter. Uh, they were all like, fine, you know, go, you know. But uh, we, we ended up spending time chatting, but nothing more than that. And the main, you know, I was tempted, but the main reason was uh, it just looked bad, you know, so, yeah. Well, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like we were gonna go straight to her cabin, but you know, I mean, you know, stuff could have happened. You know, we're sitting under the stars chatting and looking, you know, in Greece and it's beautiful. And, but yeah, 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 I have to set an example. No, well, I have a good a good buddy or a guy that I know quite well. He ended up marrying the owner, an owner's daughter. So that romance started. She was a guest. He was I don't know if he was a captain or the mate on the boat, but they met, and I don't know how it you know how it transpired, but they end up becoming a couple. You know, so ah, oh, we've had a lot of celebrities on board, but I can't. We're not. We're not meant to name. It's kind of that's kind of common in this industry. You might get some people, but you know, we've had you know legends from from Formula One. Uh, we've had you know movie stars and stuff like that. Very wealthy people. Very. Uh, in the public eye and things like that and great people amazing they've all it's been really cool meeting them uh, I've met some amazing people but uh, yeah I mean on this boat you, you're not supposed to say the names but you know I've taken princesses up in the in the, <laughs> in the crow's nest and stuff like that and you know it's it's cool it's fun to to meet those people because they live such interesting lives also you know Well, it wasn't a preference seat, but during charter, we had uh, a request for like live sea urchins. So we had to send a deckhand off to go and, yeah. I mean, usually those are something that you're stepping on accidentally and getting stuck with the spines. Uh, but yeah, it's a delicacy. So that was kind of weird. Uh, one time I had a, a, a Formula One, you know, driver, a really good driver. Uh, we were in Monaco during the Grand Prix and he wanted this special sauce that was available only in Monaco. We were anchored a few miles away, so I had to take the tender shore, take the train into Monaco, walk down into the port to the main, you know, uh, shop where they had it. And it was like right on the right on the racing track. So as I was there, the F3 cars were just zooming by, like right in front of the grocery store. So I was actually, it was kind of fun for me to be able to see that, it was cool. But yeah, that was a certain, you know, um, sauce that they wanted. They knew they could get it at that shop. So it was probably a two hour, three hour trip for me to get there and get back with it. But when, whatever they want, you know, sometimes people send helicopters to go and get certain things that guess one. It's, it's what it is, you know? That's a tough one. I, I think I'd have to be in this situation to know. Um, obviously we take guest safety really, you know, that's super important. Um, I thought that that guest was maybe inebriated or drunk and, and, and that's why they did it. So I might give them a second chance because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to kick people off the boat if they're paying guests, but obviously that can't continue. If they're going to be risking their lives, uh, repeatedly, then I'm going to have to get them off the boat, you know, but for me, it's a safety issue. It's not a, you know, it's not something that they went against my orders. It's like, I don't really order the guests that the boat is there. As long as they're doing safe stuff, I pretty much let them do what they want. Um, but if I thought that they were going to endanger themselves again, and the only way to stop them was to get them off the boat, I would have to do that. We don't have them now, but we used to have, sea, um, jet skis and just driving erratically with jet skis and coming close and i've seen a couple guests like clip each other you know you give them a briefing beforehand uh, it's actually getting stricter and stricter every year um but then they go off and they kind of act crazy and so that's something we come down really hard on and just we just have to ban them sorry you're not allowed to use the jet skis anymore because you're not being safe 
no, I have. I've I've felt like it. <laughs> I felt like it a few times, but nothing. You know, like sometimes they can be on sailboats. We tend to have really cool people. People who like sailboats are just more chilled, and so generally it's not too bad. But I've had a couple uh, guests that were just really terrible people. Um, like it's not you know you don't get to kick them off because they're terrible people uh but they didn't do anything that you know that would allow me to i i mean i that's something i would avoid at all costs because you know we're in the we're in the service industry in the and you know not entertainment but it's like a hotel it's like a floating hotel and as long as it's if they're not destroying the boat and they're not it's not a safety issue you kind of tolerate it sometimes people can get really rowdy and we have to keep an eye on it. Like last season, we had some guys who were quite rowdy, but so we had to manage it. But I don't, I don't, I wouldn't easily kick a guest off the boat. I mean, they're paying big money to be here, you know. So, uh, yeah, I have. I definitely have. I mean, I've, I've, yeah. I one time I was in uh, Corsica on the west coast of Corsica with my girlfriend. We just tied up in a little town. It was a beautiful little town. And I think it was spring, so we weren't thinking of going swimming, but we went for a long walk. A long, it was a beautiful long beach, must be like 10 miles long, and hardly anybody there because it was early. And we didn't want to go all the way back to the boat for for um, swimsuits. So we just, I mean, it's not that big a deal, you know. She had her panties on, and I, I didn't have any. I, I might have gone in my underwear. I don't remember. I think at some stage we just were ended up naked. It was daytime, but there was nobody there, and there was like a bluff behind the beach, so no one from town or walking or driving by could see the beach. So yeah, I mean, it's not that big a deal swimming naked, you know. The crew that I work with become like family. So choosing a least fa favorite deckhand uh, would like it would be like choosing a least favorite child, and yeah. But I think uh, let's see. I would say I would say I mean they were all great, but obviously Parker struggled a little bit. Parker struggled a little bit with the whole thing, and I think he wasn't quite. I think he could be a great deckhand, and I told him this last season. Uh, but he has to get his head in the right space for what he's doing. He tried really hard. But you saw in the last season he struggled with it. So I wouldn't say he's my least the the, the worst deckhand in any sense. He's a great guy, great deckhand, a uh, lot of potential. But if I had to pick between this season and last season, that would be it. I would have to have a few favorites. I mean, I, I love them all, really. Uh, I'm really impressed with Gary. I think Gary's great. Last season, you know, Paget's a good buddy, Sierra's a good buddy, Byron's a you know, probably my best buddy. We hang out, we spent Christmas together. But, you know, I, I love them all. I love Madison, I love Georgia. You know, Adam's a great guy. Um, and this season, again, there's there, there's so many really cool personalities. So I haven't met any duds. You know, we've we had our little struggles and a little conflicts, but I haven't met any duds. I haven't met anyone where I would say, I never want to meet, never want to see them again, or never want to, wouldn't want to work with them again. I haven't had that. I've been very fortunate. I have in my career, but not in these two seasons. Yeah.